I really wish this was beer right now. You had one job, New Orleans, to beat the freaking Cowboys. What is up here today, YouTube? Jigsaw0097, making this video because I'm completely disgusted and I'm completely shocked that the Cowboys were able to beat the New Orleans Saints. Not only beat them, but hold them to 13 points. This is probably the most disgusting game I've ever watched, honestly, like one of them, because this is just like typical trap game BS that you deal with every year. The Eagles went through this with the Seahawks last year, where the Eagles just cannot beat the Seahawks whenever they go to Seattle. But there was no reason that the Saints couldn't come in and beat this team. It's just pathetic with all the talent they have. I mean, there were so many drops. I don't even know where to begin with the Saints team. I'm just so I'm so mad at them. Screw the Saints and screw the Cowboys. Ugh, I'm so mad. I'm, I'm making this video and I don't even know what to say, guys. This this just puts the Eagles at a very, very big disadvantage now. They had a chance three weeks ago to bury the Cowboys and they didn't. And now look what's happening. It's almost like the Eagles are the reason that they're going on this run. So, whatever. You guys are probably going to laugh at me for making this video, but you know what? I don't give a damn. I'm just going to make it. I'm going to express my concerns and how much I hate the Cowboys. But bigger here is... Screw the Saints for losing this game because there's no reason they should have lost this one. There's no reason that Drew Brees, Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram shouldn't have gone in. Sean Payton shouldn't have gone in here and beat the freaking Cowboys, especially after they blew out the Eagles. Makes no sense, man. Makes no sense. Any given Sunday. It's like, it's like you don't want to say the NFL is rigged, but then things like this happen, and it, it just makes you question everything because it's like they hype these games up to all get out, and you know it's like the team that's not favored, like, wins. I mean, look at the Eagles winning the Super Bowl. I'm not saying – I'm not really saying that the NFL is rigged. It just is starting to have this predictability to it where you, you just, like, know what's going to happen. Last year, I pretty much knew the Eagles were going to win the Super Bowl – after um, they blew out the Vikings like they did in the playoffs. I mean, the narrative was just there, you know. It's just, just like that they were just so hot. There's some there's some times you just know. And this was one of those games I just, I had a feeling, but I didn't want to say anything, but I had a feeling that the Cowboys would just somehow beat them. And they did. Now, do I think this is going to affect New Orleans in the long run? No. New Orleans will probably be fine. Again, this is reminiscent of the Seahawks game that the Eagles experienced last year. Where they're going to just take this loss. And they're going to use this to carry them the rest of the way to the season. And probably to the Super Bowl. Saints will probably finish somewhere between the 14-2, and 13-3 and three category. And they'll be a high playoff contender. You know, they'll get a first round bye. All that garbage. So... Don't worry about this, Saints fans. You guys will be fine. Um, this is more just annoying because now i got to listen to Dallas fans for the next week. You know, we dem boys, i got to hear all that crap. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's disgusting. It's just, I don't know what to say anymore. I keep, 13 to 10. 13 to 10. I mean, what more can be said? The Saints did absolutely nothing all game. Drew Brees throws a pick at the end. It's just like, what what's going on here? See, this is, this is another case of me. I'm seeing a lot of Wentz hate this year. And it's like, it's any given Sunday. Like, you can't really hate on any quarterback in this league consistently because you just never know. They're, they're always going to have bad days. I mean, this is why I will never throw Wentz under the bus because 
you know, he's been having a bad year. That happens too. I mean, the Saints have had bad years. The Aaron Rodgers has had bad years. Tom Brady has had bad years. It's just the way it goes in this freaking league that we watch. So, anyway, that's kind of all I got to say, guys. I'm just rambling at this point. I guess I'll just close with this. This puts the Eagles at a huge disadvantage. They basically have to beat the Redskins on Monday Night Football now, and then they have to beat the Cowboys on whatever that game is. I don't know if it's Sunday night or whatever. I can't. I don't know. They have to beat Dallas. Um... So, who knows, man? Who knows? I don't know what's going to happen, but I can tell you this. If the Eagles lose one more game in the next three weeks, I'll say two weeks, because they'll probably lose to the Rams. We'll say this. If they lose one more game in the next four weeks that isn't the Rams, they're done. Count them out. I don't even think they can lose the Texans game at this point. They can't get into the playoffs at 8-8. Eight and eight. I don't see it. 9-7 and seven is the bare minimum. They can afford to lose to the Rams. That's about it. Which they probably will. I'll be there to witness that massacre. But yeah, there's nothing else to say. Dallas beats the Saints in a shocker. I'm just shocked. I'm disgusted. I don't know what to say. So comment down what you guys think. Let me know what you're thinking right now. Saints fans, Cowboys fans, whatever fans. Um, but if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I do cover the NFL all season long mostly the Eagles on this channel but I am branching out more um, but to all my returning viewers thank you so much for watching and this has been Jigsaw0097 I will talk to you all later